It was 1988. I had um, just completed a class with Paul O'Keefe at the sculpture department. Um, and at the end of the semester, he came up and he said, hey, you know, we do this blossom thing in the summer. And I was like, okay, what's blossom? It sounds like summer school. He goes, well, it's visiting artists are coming in. It wasn't a class. It was a chance for me, the artist, to explore my ideas and get input from amazing people. I would say that um, it certainly helped me establish the parameters that I wanted to set for myself in my life. If you really wanted to do it, then they were setting a very high standard by bringing these people in. I had connections with all sorts of people. Diane Cilia, who's in art history. I took a semester and worked in the slide library, which was like art history training. I actually would sit in and sort the slides and talk to the other faculty about what they were going to lecture about. So I learned an enormous amount. The faculty, they knew everybody in New York, and a lot of it was because of the Blossom program. And it wasn't just that they came in the summer, but then when people went to New York, that they had built, they had established these friendships and built these relationships. Everything was a crossover. One year they brought in Dan Cameron, a critic from New York City. And so the whole visual arts component got together and went from studio to studio, listen, you know, listening to him talk. What I remember about Blossom, I think more than anything else, is the social aspect of it. The fact that you could sort of socialize with major, you know, blue chip artists, patrons, faculty. It was a big deal. Noel Rifle, who I never had a class with, but I invited him to be on my panel. Craig Lucas, who was, did, never took a class with him, but he sat on my panel. Most of that was because of Blossom. Craig got to know me because I took Blossom. Noel got to know me because I took Blossom, not because I took their classes. There was always this sort of welcoming and graciousness and um, hospitality, and that carried through to the interactions between the visiting artists and students. It was more conversation and the dialogue between you and the visiting artists. As a student, you were always doing assignments. You were always being asked, you know, here, think about this problem. And within the Blossom structure, you were asked to come up with your own problem and get some feedback. For the most part, it was about the dialogue, it was about the thinking, it was about exchanging ideas. And you were exchanging them with somebody who you knew was a great artist. And they were talking to you like an equal. 